Hey kiddos. I wanted to say something real quick because I feel like, you know, when I made my last album review, I kind of uh, glazed over some parts and I wanted to, you know, share some more thoughts after having a little bit more time with this album. You know, I granted it's only been what, four or five days at this point, but I figure why not? Um, yeah, first off, first thing I want to talk about a little bit more is the song Terrified. I kind of forgot to mention that, yeah, I know that this song started as a boxcar racer idea. And a couple years ago, before Tom and Travis, um, they had actually been hinting and kind of building hype to a possible boxcar racer reunion or at least a new album or something and I will say at the time I was very against it because up until then you know when people say that they're going to do like a sequel to something whether it's a movie or an album or whatever it's almost always garbage almost always um I mean, especially if there's a lot of time in between, because it's so hard to recapture that sort of feel and that energy that was part of, like, the original thing. Um, for example, like, the first Anchorman movie. Love that movie. And then, like, 15 years later, they decided, you know, we're going to make another one. And it was just total garbage. Like, they just tried to play off the first one and they just kind of phoned it in a little bit too much and kind of blew it in my eyes. Um, but that was so not the case, man. Um, I was immediately in love with this song. And I, I fully eat my words on that one because I did not want anything that even resembled the idea of boxcar racer because I didn't want them to taint what was already there. I was really scared that they were going to shit on something that was already a perfect thing. But I love the song Terrified. Even if it has kind of an experimental bridge, a lot of people are comparing it to like Linkin Park or something, which I guess I can kind of hear, but it fits the song really well. It's not totally out of left field because it's kind of got elements of like a Travis sort of thing, like maybe Fallen Interlude or something like that. Um, so yeah, I would absolutely love to hear more songs like that. And based on the Zane Lowe interview that they did, that I, I believe it's on Blink's official YouTube channel. Um, I watched the whole thing and, you know, Mark originally would have been really against it. Um, so he said because, you know, his ego at the time couldn't let that go. Um, but man, I'm really glad it made it on the album. It totally has its place. You know, just like the Blink Wave song is a totally different thing, but you know, it's part of them. It's, it's, it just fits, you know, and I'm really glad that they feel like they don't have to have any boundaries because they're one of those bands that like, they broke out of their box and proved that they have what it takes to, you know, do different ideas and still sound authentic, you know? Um, and if you have not checked out that interview, it's like maybe an hour and 15 minutes or so. Highly recommend it. Really, really great interview. Zane does great interviews. There's a really good Paramore one I watched a while ago that I liked a lot too. Um, secondly, I really want to talk about what I believe at this point in time to be my favorite song in the record, which will surprise a lot of you, is not Terrified. It's actually Other Side. I don't know what it is about that song. I mean, I know the story behind it. I know that it's a tribute to Marx and probably all of their friend, uh, O, Otis, I, I think his name is. I don't really know him super well, but he was a really close friend. I think maybe a tech for Mark or something. I, I'm not super familiar. Um, but it's such a great song. And it's one of those songs that, you know, it starts off high energy already. And you feel like, 
you know, where is this song going to go other than down, you know, to something slower, but it builds it this, this chorus that's even bigger and catchier, and it's just, it's such a ride, man. That song has been stuck in my head so much in the past few days. It's got to be more than any other song, and I just love it, you know, it's just... It's just great. It, it, it's not often that one of Mark's songs is the one that I connect with the most. It's usually Tom, and it's not any sort of, you know, slight to anybody. It's just, you know, personal preference over the last 20-something years. But man, love that song. Really, really good. And, um, I mean, Terrified is definitely up there. Probably number two. I love Anthem Part Three. Um, yeah, there's there's a bunch of bangers. I mean, let's be honest. So, to piggyback on what I was saying earlier about that Zane Lowe interview, um, there was something that did bother me a little bit, and that was just how how much they were, you know, propping up Travis for the production of the album. I mean, it's nitpicking for me at this point. I mean, I, let's be clear. The production of this album is not at all going to stop me from listening and enjoying it and finding it to be a really, really good album. I mean, I, I have practically nothing to really complain about. But, man, they were talking so much about how amazing of a job Travis did production wise and I was just like ah, I don't know about that personally but I love that they talked about Jerry Finn a good amount it was nice to hear you know some insight about him because I didn't really know much about him as a person and them just talking about how everybody felt like they were Jerry's best friend like that's that's really cool it's a really cool thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I've gotten some comments about the things that I said regarding the production. Like, people um, were criticizing me for, for what I said about that. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's nitpicking, but people want me to nitpick. I mean, that's, that's what these videos are. I mean, people have heard me talk about Link for a very long time, and that's just always how it's been, that's how it's going to be with me, you know, I'm going to be upfront about these things, and, I mean, I'm not a professional when it comes to, you know, a production standpoint or anything like that, like, but, you know, I, I use my ears, I feel like I have pretty good ears, but there's a lot of people that were agreeing with me, too, a lot of people that were even going further and really breaking down, like, the things that were wrong, like, certain spots where things were clipping or like noises that were just present in some spots I don't know but you know I'm far from the only person to think that there were some some issues there but I mean maybe somewhere down the line they'll do a reissue uh, but I mean it's it's really not like I said gonna stop me from listening to this album over and over again and enjoying the hell out of it. I mean, I listened to it already once this morning and it's only 12 o'clock right now. So, I mean, what's that tell you? I'm obviously a really big fan of the album. It's great to feel this feeling again. I mean, the first time I listened to this album, which was the day before it came out since it leaked, I mean, I'm just sitting there and I'm just reminiscing about when Neighborhoods came out. When Neighborhoods came out, um, this, this actually before it came out, it leaked also, uh, like this one did, but it leaked, I would say, at least like a week to maybe 10 days before the album was supposed to officially release, and I left work immediately. I was like, this is an emergency. I have to go. I have to listen to these songs. I have to cover every single one of them. I have to make a lesson video on every single one of them immediately and it was crazy just to think that I could feel that way again because 
for a long time, I didn't think that Blink was ever going to be Blink again. And just like Travis said in that Zane Lowe interview, while Matt was still in the band, he, he at one point, you know, goes and tells Mark, like, you know, I like what we're doing, but to me, Blink is always going to be Mark, Tom, and Travis. And to do anything less than that feels... I, I forget exactly the word that he used, but it feels almost like blasphemy, almost. Like, it's it's not what it's supposed to be. And I, I, I completely feel the same way. I mean, I'm in this, on the same page. I'm a big Alkaline Trio fan. I've actually been a fan of Alkaline Trio longer than I've been a fan of Blink, believe it or not. And... Matt is a great songwriter, but he, you know, I've, I've said this a million times, he wasn't the right choice. They did what they could do. Um, but man, it's, it's so great to just have the family back together again. You know, it's just, it's the way that it's meant to be. And it just feels right, you know? It's, it's hard to explain. I mean, I've, I'll be I'll be completely honest with you guys. I've been pretty damn emotional the last couple days, just taking it all in. I mean, the the interview I watched was making me tear up in some spots. Just hearing some of these songs for the first time was doing that to me too, and just feeling, you know, like like part of the team again like obviously like part of the family like like something something special I don't know that's all I really have to say for now um, I do want to point out a lot of people have been asking for lesson videos I did a very very quick lesson video on I think it was Dance With Me where I I showed you how to play it real quick and under like a minute i'll probably do more like that you know not these slow 20 minute 30 minute things that i've done in the past because i really hate making those videos um but i will definitely plan on doing some quick lessons um probably after i've covered all the songs that i want to cover um, and I don't think I have too many more, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to drop them all at once. I'm going to space them out a little bit. So um, that's all. That's really it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Later.